Look at this. Has an HD camera in 4K, no filter. Look at this flawless. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Precious. I'm just gonna get straight to the case. We all know why we're here. You wanna know how to set your face like a pro and to have this flawless finish. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. As you can see, face is blended out. I did my foundation, I did my concealer, I did my cream contour, I did my blush. Now it's just to set my face. The first thing I like to do when I set my face is I like to go in with a loose powder. This one's from Huda Beauty in the shade Blondie and I like to set my under eyes. That is the very first part of my face I like to set. So what I do is I tap the product on the top of the lid. That's how I like to work with the powder. I flatten it out as you can see here. And then I go in with my beauty sponge. This one is a little bit dirty, I know. It's because I used it for the rest of my face. Before I go in to set anything, I like to go over any creases and make sure everything is like smooth before I set my face. What you want to do next is go in with your damp beauty sponge, tap it in. This is how it should look like. Then what you want to do next, there's two things you could do. You could blow on it to like remove some of the excess powder or you could go straight in. What I like to do is I like to blow on it. So now it looks like this and then I like to tap it under my eye like so I'm just evenly tapping it under my eye. Don't tap too hard though. And you can see how smooth that already looks compared to this side. I'm just gonna do that again, but do it for the other eye. So what you wanna do, you want the powder to evenly lay on the cap. Then you wanna take your beauty sponge, you wanna tap it in. This is a lot right here. So I like to just tap some off before blowing. <sighs> Blow and then just do the same to the under eye. Now I like to tap it on my eye lid as well. And honestly, I just keep doing this. Everywhere I put on concealer is where I set it with my Huda Beauty. Just gonna keep doing it. Below forehead because I put concealer on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, upper lip, around my lip. And what I like to do, instead of baking, I just like to pat it on until the powder disappears. Don't mind my nose and my forehead. I like to bake my forehead and my nose so it can set a little bit longer because that's where I get oily the fastest. So me, I don't know about y'all, but me, I like a bright under eye. So I go in with a pressed powder. This pressed powder is from Charlotte Tilbury. And you guys, when I open this thing, look at it. This is the amount of product that is left. And you're just wondering, Precious, you know, why don't you just buy some more? Y'all, this shit was $42. I'm gonna use this until it's finished, okay? What I like to do is I only go in with Charlotte Tilbury's pressed powder under my eye to just brighten it up a bit. I go in with my triangle powder puff and you can just get like a packet of this off of Amazon. They're really cheap. If you have like the full product, of course, all you have to do is pat it. But for me, I have to go around <laughs> the thing to collect product. It looks something like this. What you wanna do is just tap off just a little bit of the product. And then you wanna use the remaining product and just pat under your eye. So I'm just gonna pat it in very light-handedly. And for this part too, I really only try to stay like right here. I don't try to go all the way down here because I don't want it to be my whole under eye. I just really want it in this small section of my under eye. And honestly, you guys, you don't have to use these products you can use really whatever brand products you want to use but just make sure for the first part is a loose powder and for this part is a pressed powder okay so what I like to do next is I like to go in with a brush like this a very soft brush and then go into my loose powder this is again from Huda Beauty and then I just tap it in then I just like to make sure everything is blended out and the reason why you want to go in with a powder instead of just a instead of just a brush without any product on it is because this won't take off your makeup. Versus if you was to go in with a brush with no product on it, it will tend to pick up your makeup that you have on your face. And we don't want that. I like to go in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. 
that what I already have. So moving along. Next thing I'm doing is set the rest of my face. I'm using L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. It's a drugstore powder. You guys, I love this powder so much. And I go with like a powder brush. And I just avoid all the spots that I concealed. So my under eyes, my the forehead, the T-zone area. I avoid all those spots with setting the rest of my face because I don't want to darken those spots at all. Next thing's next, go in with my bronzer from Fenty Beauty and Mocha Mommy. And where you want to put your bronzer at is wherever you get your cream contour slash bronzer. So I'm just going over all those spots again, but with a powder. And the reason why I like to use more warm shades when I go in with bronzing is because I used to use more cool tone shades and it would just look too harsh. And I like to look soft. So using the same bronzer for my nose because I did contour my nose earlier but sometimes it could get lost in the powders so I want to bring my nose job back to life and then I like to go over it with a beauty sponge so it doesn't look harsh or anything like that if you really want a seamless finish you go back in with your brush take a little bit of product just a little bit Tap it off, it should look something like this. Tap it off and then go back over it just to blend everything out. Make sure everything is making sense. Okay, so we set the under eye, we set the T-zone area, we set our face, we set our bronzer, we did our nose. Y'all, it's really that simple. All I have to do now is my blush. And usually I like to wait until I finish the rest of my face as far as like doing my eyeshadow, fixing my brows up, and doing mascara, lashes. So I'm probably going to do that off camera and then be right back. So I'm back to complete the rest of my face before I left. All I have to do now is put on some blush and then I wanna set my eyebrows. The blush I'm going in with is from e.l.f. I had this blush palette for years now and I'm just gonna go in. I like a little bit of everything and I'm just going to put my blush where I put my liquid blush at. I started wearing liquid blush last year. Before then, I didn't wear liquid blush, and there is a difference. If you wear liquid blush before you put on your powder blush, your powder blush will like show so much more, and I love it. And then, go in with my loose powder again. I'm gonna tap everything off, then I'm just gonna set my eyebrows. This will avoid your eyebrows from getting super oily and shiny. So personally, I like to set my face before I do my lips. So I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury. Ah! I miss my whole face. I cannot be wasting sprays. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Honestly, after doing that, I go in with some more blush. Just a little bit more blush. Another thing I like to do is make beauty marks on my face with some black eyeliner. I forgot to mention too, after I finish putting on some more blush and doing my beauty marks, I like to go in with one size setting spray because this really locks in any moisture. Like your face will not move after you use this setting spray. Of course, I'm using a brown lip liner. This is from NYX. It was like $8. And when I tell you this is the best drugstore lip liner ever, very pigmented, glides on smoothly chef's kiss and honestly this whole makeup look i was debated if i should do a gloss or a matte lip and i think i'm gonna do a gloss of course they're nude i'm gonna be using spite by mac and see through by mac and maybe some uh fortune cookie by nyx honestly i throw them all together and just make madness out of it so what i like to do now is just go back in and reline my lip Lastly, I wanted to do is I want to screen record myself taking a picture using flash just to show you guys that it will pass the flash test. So screen recorder going on now. Okay. Oh my goodness, don't play with her. Thank you for staying to the very end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up on this video. Make sure you subscribe. And with all that being said, I will catch you guys in my next video.